In this module, we're going to take everything that we've learned so far in this class and create some original art. Now, this is going to be a major project. There's two major projects for this class, this one and the final project. So you're going to be able to take everything you've learned and create an original artwork. Now, we're going to have a theme, and that theme is surrealism. So if you're not sure what surrealism is, I would highly recommend that you take a look at the definition that I have in the assignment criteria. And I put a whole bunch of different surreal artists here, my favorite surreal artists here, as inspiration for you. So I highly recommend that you go through and take a look at these artists. So to start out with uh, Dali, here, one of my favorite painters, definitely a surrealist. Um, and then looking at a different style from uh, Rene Magritte. And again, stuff that you can do in Photoshop. Hieronymus Bosch, definitely one of my favorite painters. The Garden of Earthly Delights has so many crazy stuff. You can take just one um, of these objects that he has in here and make a whole project out of it. So again, I highly recommend you look at that. Jerry Olsman going a little diref different direction using photography and blending photography together. So he is um, actually famous for using negatives, for using analog media. And he uh, sandwiches negatives together to create composites rather than doing it digitally. And then there's Muchiko Kone. And Muchiko Kone, what I love about her is she actually creates the projects that she shoots. So, for example, here with this shoe, she took a shoe and then took a cuttlefish and cut up the cuttlefish and made the shoe out of the cuttlefish. Very cool stuff. Very surreal. Uh, Joe Peter Whitkin here, a total madman. The guy takes real skeletons, real different props, and uses a lot of techniques on his negative scratching um, filters, different grungy type of stuff to make some real dark type of surrealistic images. And then I have a section here for you to look at what some students have done in the past. So there's a link to the SOMA website that will show you, again, some student work here. And also, um, if you need to find images, I put a link here to this freeimages.com. I think you have to sign up for it. It's free to sign up, but you can get really high quality images here. Just don't pay for it because they have both pay and free images here. Okay, so that's about it. Again, the project instructions are that you create a surrealistic photo montage. I recommend you start out creating a concept, so develop a written or sketched idea for your surrealistic photo montage. You can combine painting, illustration, graphics, photos into a seamless photographic whole. Of course, this stuff is going to have to be scanned, but you can scan a painting, you can scan an illustration, and then uh, use it digitally. So you're going to cut and join all these together in order to create a unique image, much like we did in the assignment where you did some compositing masking. I want you to create the illusion that all the image elements are parts of the same. That's one of the things I'm going to be grading on is that it looks seamless, that it doesn't look like it's photoshopped. So hopefully you um, have the skills to be able to do that. The requirements, the actual requirements, I want you to combine three or more. Use as many as you need, but at least three images into a single image. That's at least 2560 by 1920. So I want these to be super large. And that's why I gave you the link to the free photos or the stock images, because you're going to have to find large ones. Again, create an image that accesses the surreal. Show me how to use the magic of Photoshop to transform reality into dream. Create something that appears real, but in reality cannot be, and then save it as your last name, composite.jpg. Do not resize it, and then attach the file here. You'll also have a peer review for that, so please don't forget that as well. And also, we're going to have a discussion for this as well, so don't forget that at the end. There's a post of discussion here. And that's it for the activities for, for this module. I can't wait to see what you come up with.